So when we're brand new to Rapid Miner, it can sometimes be very difficult to understand how the steps we take as we build up a uh, work process actually completes uh, a complete um, data analytics project. So let's start at the end and see the process that we're going to be building together in our first little introduction into Rapid Miner. So this entire sequence of steps represented by operators, these boxes, and by these connectors, the workflow, represent our entire flow of data as we model it, train it, and you know, build results. So how this is going to work, let's just zoom in here. First things first, we're going to read some data. This is going to come from the cloud. We're going to read an Excel file that's sitting up there on Google Cloud. We're going to pull those 200 customer records down that we're already familiar with because we've worked with similar data. We're going to have to do some modifications of those variables just to make sure that Rapid Miner understands what each role of those variables are for its purposes. And then once we have that imported, we're going to actually build our model. So we're going to run a multiple linear regression model here. Basically just build a simple linear response model that uses recency, frequency, and monetary value as linear predictors of someone's actual purchase. So that's going to, that's going to be how we build our response model, similar to how we've done it uh, using Excel and other uh, tools. Now, of course, once we build our response model, we want to actually use that response model, right? We want to use that mathematical equation to make predictions about customers that we don't actually know exactly how much they spend. That brings us to this second part here. We're going to read in a second Excel file from the cloud. This represents the 800 other customers, the people who we actually don't know exactly what they've purchased. Well, in this particular example, we actually Imagine we've waited around and literally did observe whether or not, uh, exactly how much they spent, but we're going to be using that later. But we sort of imagine that we want to make predictions on these individuals here as though we didn't know exactly what they're going to do yet, right? We're trying to look into the future. Uh, we'll have to, again, modify that Excel file so that Rapid Miner makes sense of it correctly. And what we do here then is we simply take that mathematical model we had previously and apply that math to the new data. So we use this little operator here. And with that new mathematical model being applied to our new data, that means we've actually correctly added predictions for each of those 800 customers. In this particular instance, we think there's going to be some additional analysis and investigation. In other words, we'd like to run some pivot tables to sort of investigate what type of customer seems to be predicted to spend more or less and see if we can start coming up with some managerial insights. And for now, we're not really comfortable doing that in Rapid Miner just yet. So we're going to actually export those results right back into a data file that's convenient for Microsoft Excel to read. So that's our right CSV comma separated values here. That's a file format that is easily read in by Excel. So we do all this work, we build in our predictions, and then we spit out the results right back into a new data file that we can then conduct our basic descriptive analytics on to better understand our customers and think about how to improve our marketing process.